Dead is a 10-day kettlebell challenge where every rep begins with a weight on the ground. This is also referred to as the dead position. Each day you'll need to complete six time-based rounds of a specific kettlebell exercise. On the first day, the rounds are set at one minute each for a total of six minutes. The next day, you'll add 10 seconds to each round, bringing that total to seven minutes. This process is repeated until on the 10th and final day, each round is two minutes and 30 seconds long for a total of 15 minutes. The goal is to perform as many quality reps as possible within that round. You're only allowed to do one exercise each round and it must be on the same side of your body. So setting an appropriate pace and resting as little as possible is the key to succeeding. There are three kettlebell exercises with one alternative option. The dead snatch, dead clean and trick press combo, and plank row. Due to the level of difficulty of the plank row, there is an option to replace it with a bent over dead row. As far as what order to complete the exercises, that's up to you. For instance, starting round one with plank rows on your weak side might be ideal if that is what is the most difficult exercise for you. Also, whatever order you do on one day can be switched around on other days, so you may end up making adjustments to the challenge to find that perfect rotation. Two scoring options are available, which are described as simple and advanced. The simple option only requires that you count your reps for the day. Your objective is to perform two more reps in each round than in the previous day. So that would mean striving for 12 more total reps than the day before. This is a great choice for people who want an excellent workout without having to put too much thought into tracking their progress. It might also be more appropriate for those who wish to use a heavier kettlebell as you're allowed to substitute the plank row for the bent over dead row. With the advanced display method, you're still counting your total reps of the day, but also factoring in a few bonus points. Due to the structure of this method, however, you must do plank row exercises and cannot substitute with a bent over dead row. So what are these bonuses? For starters, you'll earn a certain percentage depending on the length you've chosen. This scales from no bonus for using a 12 kilogram or less kettlebell, all the way up to a 30% bonus for using a 20 kilogram or heavier kettlebell. One important note is that no matter which scoring method you choose, you must stick with one weight throughout the entire challenge. The second bonus is awarded to those who complete exercises on one side of the body for consecutive rounds. As an example, say you complete a round of dead clean and strict press, followed by a round of dead snatches on your right side, or switch it to an exercise on your left side. That task will earn you a 10% bonus. If you're able to do three rounds in a row on each side, that would give you a 25% bonus. The final bonus applies to the plank row exercises. It's perhaps the hardest of them all and will become more difficult as the challenge goes on. To earn this bonus, you will need to remain in the plank position for both rounds when rowing on your left and right side. Although you do not need to continuously row to earn this bonus, you only need to maintain the plank position. Now, obviously, there are a lot of calculations that need to be done if you're trying to hit each goal. So here's a scenario that might make it easier to understand. Let's say you do 150 total reps with a 16 kilogram kettlebell. Complete three sets consecutively on one side and remain in play. All the bonuses are met for a total of 55%. Take that 55% and multiply it by 150 total reps for a total bonus of 82.5. Then add that total bonus back into the total rep count for a score of 232.5. Finally, round to the nearest whole number, which will result in a score of 233 for the day. Hopefully the rules of this challenge are starting to make sense. There are a lot of details to absorb, which is why I highly recommend you read my full blog post on raising the dead. In the post, you'll see video demonstrations of the exercises, as well as a very thorough breakdown of the technique on those exercises. I also offer my thoughts on preparing a strategy for the challenge and advice on how to approach it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the post for this video. I'd also love to hear your feedback regarding your progress and things you liked or didn't like about the challenge. Good luck, and thanks for watching.